one of the things that the Road Home Program does really well is that we use certain evidence-based therapies, cognitive processing therapy and other cognitive therapies that, that has evidence to support its use as a direct intensive treatment for symptoms of PTSD. Our response rates are, are tremendous. We can affect cures in some individuals, people who after their intensive treatment with, a, with RUSH no longer exhibit symptoms of PTSD on rating scales. And, and we follow up six to 12 months out and they have maintained responses. It's a lot more efficient than the older, more traditional model of weekly you know, psychotherapy where you just sort of talk about things and such. That stuff just doesn't work with veterans. You really got to got to get focused and work through it. And so it's a very structured kind of therapy that becomes intensive. And with it, we incorporate other evidence-based therapies, uh, including mindfulness. Mindfulness may sound a little hokey, but it actually isn't. If you look at the physiological changes that one has when one is in a meditative state, predominant air, uh, brain wave is an alpha wave, that is the resting regenerative state, you're actually helping put the brain into a healthy resting state, such as people who meditate do by, by practicing mindfulness. And that has you know, healing benefits for, for the brain. If you're talking about circuits that have been disrupted, it provides healing tools. So that along with the cognitive-based therapies have been proven to be very effective. And our hope is that the work that we do will translate to other populations who suffer PTSD not just military. We have discussed treatment to uh, first responders, police, fire, and other emergency workers. At the start of the pandemic, we were actually working at screening our own hospital staff for symptoms and were ready to initiate therapies for our own staff that were experiencing the trauma of working on um, high-stress COVID units in the emergency department and such. So we hope that what we learn working with veterans will translate one to other treatment centers picking up these techniques and using them. Uh, the Veterans Administration is now working towards developing more structured programs for PTSD rather than the older inefficient you know, one-to-one -one ongoing lifelong therapies. And we hope that our work will translate to treating other populations as well. Brainline is powered in part by Wounded Warrior Project to honor and empower post 9-11 injured service members, veterans, and their families. 